Hello my digital scape, my name is Jordan Sweeto and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. This week's theme is what to do when and there's this thing I do sometimes on my channel and I get you guys to finish my sentence and I thought this week's theme would be perfect to try that out. So I'm gonna take to Twitter and ask you guys to finish my sentences or rather solve my problems with another sentence. Oh my god, so many freaking answers. But will they be helpful? That's the question. Okay, first question. What should I do when I'm in an awkward situation? Craft. Damn you, Dan and Phil! When in doubt, twerk the frick out. Yes, nothing. Every situation is an awkward situation. Oh god, I didn't even know that. Just kind of lay on the floor and scream the Mario theme song. <laughs> what the? I can just imagine that. Oh man, this got awkward. Oh, what the hell? You should just run away. That's probably the most helpful one I've gotten so far, even though it would still be embarrassing. Next question. What do I do if someone doesn't like my music taste? Punch them. Oh, wow. Sing a song from your music taste that they hate to annoy them even more. The ultimate troll move. Throw a cow at them. Hmm. This one I've got to try. Scream and slap them in the face with a cucumber. Good idea. My friend Peckett says I usually just delete them from my life. Well, you know, having the same music taste as someone else is a big deal. It usually does help if you like the same music. Except that people like different music and ask them to do the same. Then slowly delete all their songs and change them to yours. This. This is a good idea. <laughs> slap them in the face with an all-time low CD. Yes. A little bit violent, but still effective. Kill them. <laughs> what the? Holy crap! I would not like to get on the bad side of some of you guys. You guys are cray cray. Fuck you. My cat's such a creeper sometimes. Okay, next question. What to do when you get a boner? Make babies. Hmm. Well, it is practical. I don't know. I'm a female human being. Fair enough. Beat the meat baby and pour pickle juice on it. <laughs> what does that even mean? Look at my face, because it turns everyone off. <laughs> Wow! I think you should have more confidence in yourself. I bet you're beautiful. Use it as a sword to fight off enemies. Yeah, no. <laughs> okay. My friend Jordan the Fear Razor says that's a hard question, man. <laughs> oh my god. God damn it, Jordan! Oh god, Alex replied. Alex says, I have this problem daily. You know, me being a man and all. I feel you on that one. Okay, let's move on before this gets too awkward. Next question. What should I do if Johnny Gilbert asks me to marry him, but I don't think I'm ready yet? Just be f buddies. <laughs> I mean, it's not a bad idea. I'm joking! You say yes anyways, because Johnny. Oh, fair enough. Tell him you already married a duck. I'm sorry, Johnny, but I've married... A duck. Yeah. Tell him to marry Kyle instead. I should! In here, I thought Connie was forever. Tell him you have daddy issues. Okay, this is weird. Next question. What should I do if I fell in a lion's enclosed habitat at the zoo? Holy crap, that would be scary. Become one with the nature and sing the entrance to the Lion King. That's a nice kitty. I don't think that would work, you guys. Talk politics with the lion. Well, it might get him to fall asleep. Become a lion. Oh my goodness, I'm getting mauled no matter what, aren't I? Somebody said shrugs. Hakuna Matata. Yeah, I mean, whatever, right? It's just my life. I'll tell you what, if I was ever in a situation like this, I wouldn't be tweeting about it. Because this is not helpful. Gosh. What should I do if I ate too many burritos? Who? I never thought of this one. Eat more. Yeah. I'll probably explode and die, but whatever. Share. I'm pretty sure I'd let you have some of my burritos if I was on the brink of exploding. Turn into a burrito. That actually might work. I mean, Jaden did it, why can't I? You will be crowned king of the burritos by the burrito fairies. Or it's a hallucination from the catastrophic diarrhea. Oh, that escalated quickly. <laughs> Get over it because burritos are boss. Oh my God, I'm sorry. Okay, next question. What should I do if I was the last person on earth? Masturbate. Why? Never, ever, 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 ever wear pants ever again. I like the way you think. Somebody posted a picture of SpongeBob just lying on the ground. Okay? <laughs> Smoke weed every day. All by myself. Whatever you want. <gasps> Anything? And finally, the last question. It's a biggie. What should I do if I got challenged to a duel with a unicorn? Ba ba ba! Let us see. Kick its butt. Oh, trust me, I would. Choose Pikachu. That would be a very good choice. Rip off its horn and beat it up with it. Oh my god. Holy crap. That's very violent. Make friends with it and take over the world. I like that idea a lot. Use your horn. What? What is that noise? Oh, it's just a hot tub coming to life. Happens all the time. Rip off its horn and shove it up the unicorn's butt. What? Why? What the hell? I am not doing that, okay? Defeat it and banish it to the shadow realm. Okay, I will. 
Well, that's all the questions I'm gonna do, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode. That was crazy and weird and fun. I love doing these interactive videos with you guys. I do heaps more on my main channel too if you wanna go check them out. I think I'll do another one coming up soon, so follow me on my Twitter, my social media stuff, if you wanna be a part of it. A huge, huge thank you to you guys for all of the support on MDE and just everywhere lately. I'm so freaking happy and I know all the other guys are too. So thank you all very, very much. Anyways, yeah! You guys are bae. As always, I will see you guys next Thursday right here on MDE. See you later. Bye!